always here with the insight that we need. And so let's look at this Texas-Oklahoma game. Always a monster game on the schedule, but this year it feels like everything is at stake. Heather, which of these teams needs a win more? Well, Greeny, in the court of public opinion, it would be Texas and Steve Sarkeesian because this program is so desperate to be nationally elite again. And they're off to a 5-0 start for the first time since 2009, which is significant. But for playoff perspective, Oklahoma absolutely needs this more because this could be the only ranked opponent that they face during the regular season. That's critical on Selection Day when the College Football Playoff Selection Committee is reviewing these resumes. So the difference is Texas went to Tuscaloosa and beat Alabama, which is still one of the most impressive wins in the country. If Texas loses this game and finishes as a one-loss Big 12 champ, they still have an excellent chance to impress the selection committee and finish in the top four. Texas is six-and-a-half-point favorite. Paul, are they on upset alert this weekend? I don't think so. And what, one point to add to what Heather said, don't forget, Oklahoma was on – OU schedule, excuse me, Georgia was on OU schedule in Norman, but because of the SEC uh, expansion, that went off the board. However, I think Texas is a superior team to Oklahoma. I think they have them across the board. They're more physical on both sides of the line. They have the better quarterback. They have the better coaching staff. This is a huge rivalry, and Oklahoma has revenge on its mind after just being eviscerated last year, Greeny. But I, I think Texas is in good shape in this game. All right, so we'll see what happens in that one. In the meantime, we've made it to October. We're working our way closer and closer to these rankings coming out. As of this moment, Paul, give me your CFP top four. Well, I would start with Georgia. I know everybody wants to beat up on them, but they're still number one in my book. Ohio State escaped against Notre Dame. They're still around. And then, obviously, Florida State has such impressive wins at Clemson and against LSU. And I really like Texas because of what Heather said, that win at Alabama. George uh, and Heather? We're on different pages, Paul. I've got Florida State number one, Texas number two, Georgia number three, because not even Kirby Smart knows how good this team is yet. And at number four, <laughs> I've got Washington because they're the most complete team in the country. And for everyone saying, whoa, wait a minute, where's the Big Ten? I've got Ohio State on the bubble at number five because of that Notre Dame win. And Michigan right now, as good as they've been, and J.J. McCarthy's the best quarterback in the Big Ten, they're 113th right now in strength of schedule, according to ESPN Analytics. All right, that, that will obviously change substantially. They'll play Penn State, they'll play Ohio State, and they will get their chance to play their way into it. Quickly, Paul, uh, rumors of the demise of our friend Mr. Sabin. They've been out there. Have they been greatly <laughs> exaggerated? Has he, has he silenced the questions and the critics headed into a big game with A&M? Greeny, I don't know who in the world would have written Nick Saban off. Certainly not me. Uh, but, yes, uh, they're coming back well. I, I like what I'm seeing out of, out of Alabama. I mean, Saban has, got, has resorted to his old self. I mean, he's screaming and hollering, throwing things. And I think there's a reason for that. Marcus understands it. He played for Saban. Saban was, I think, tentative about this team. They just weren't maturing. Now they're showing some signs. So it's back to being the old Nick Saban, which is bad news for everyone. Heather? I want to tell you, right before I came on TV with you, Greeny, I talked to Jimbo Fisher, and the matchup is up front. I'm tempted to pick the Aggies in this game. 15 tackles for loss. Alabama's offensive line has had issues. I think this is a 50-50 game. Could go either way. Give me something.